Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to delineate watershed area using QGIS software. Okay, let's start. In order to do this, first of all, you have to import your digital elevation model into QGIS. For the first step, we need to check its coordinate system. To do this, I'm gonna use properties from source I can check it that it's WGS 84 otherwise if you do not have any coordinate system or it's not let's say in the targeted coordinate system you can go to the raster from projection you can use wrap and from wrap you can change your coordinate system here you have to import your input layer that it's digital elevation model from source CRS if it's gonna be like this and also from a uh, target CRS you can choose whatever you are interested in to change its coordinator system from this select CRS I'm going to come here, predefine it CRS, and in filter, for example, for me it's 38N. By filtering this, I can see all 38N in coordinate reference system. For example, for me it's this. And if I'm interested in changing, I can click on it and I can easily click on run and it's going to change. Okay, since I have a corrected coordinate system, I'm going to continue to the next step. From Saga or Processing Toolbox, if you don't have Processing Toolbox, you can come here from Processing and by clicking on Toolbox, you can add it here. Okay, from Saga, I'm gonna do my purpose by extracting watershed area. For this, I'm gonna come to Train Analysis Hydrology. First of all, I have to fill all the air hole inside my digital elevation model. To do this, I'm gonna use Fill sink. I import my digital elevation model as input. From feed at them, I have to define an output folder. For this, I'm gonna use save to file. And create a folder. Inside the folder, I can define my name. You can choose whatever you are interested. Then save. I don't need this. Because of this, I deselect all of them. Just I need feed them. Right now, everything is OK. And I can click and run. Okay, as you can see, it's successfully completed. This is feed them digital elevation model. In the next step, I'm gonna create, or let's say is extract channel networks and train basins. For this, I'm gonna use this option from train analysis channels. By clicking on this, in elevation, I have to import my feed them from threshold you can choose whatever you are interested for example for me three is okay because i i want to have more detailed streams in my result 
Here you can select, for example, flow direction or other tools that you are interested in having its result. However, I don't want to this. I deselect flow direction, allow flow, also flow connectivity. I need orders, stroller for this. I'm going to give it an output folder again. I'm saving this one and also drain drainage basing. If you are interested, you can define a output folder for this too. And also I need channels for this. Again, I'm creating a name and an output folder. In the last part of this page, if you are interested, you can have your drain drainage basin and also junctions. If you are interested, you can also run the uh, run this order for this. I need here just uh, channels and also straddler. For this, everything is okay, and I'm gonna run. Okay, as you can see, it's successfully down. Right now, we can see channels as well as a stroller. This is a stroller and also this is channels. In the next step, I'm gonna delineate watershed area for one of these streams in order to do this for example i'm looking for a large area for example this one is okay i'm gonna do this for this part of my digital elevation model for this i'm gonna use coordinate systems in order to do this first of all I find my targeted pixel for this. I have to right click from coordinate system. I'm copying the coordinate system of this area. Then I'm going to upslope area. And from this, I'm gonna say target X coordinate and also target Y coordinate. For this, I'm going to paste the coordinate system that I copied from there. Okay, here in elevation, I have to import my fitted digital elevation model. And from method, I'm going to use deterministic 8. The reason for this, I can give you a link to know further details about these methods. From this link, you can see a lot of information regarding the applied methodology for this purpose. For example, as you can see, deterministic 8 is a classical method in which water flows most from the center of one cells to the center of other cells okay and also further details regarding the other options and also deterministic infinitive multiple flow direction and so on okay i'm gonna use deterministic eight and and also in upslope area i have to give it an output folder for this i'm gonna say 
upslope and save and again okay as you can see it's completely down now i can see the other part of my process as you can see here right now we have a water shade area for this part i can let's say in the final step uh, convert this raster to shape file for this i'm gonna use raster conversion polygonized raster to vector from input layer I'm interested in converting upper slope to vector band uh, band number is band one because we have just one band and also vectorize it we need to define a folder for our output from here I'm gonna give it a name area. The format is shapefile. And right now I can run the code again. Okay, as you can see, it's, uh, it's successfully converted to shapefile. We can do the same process for other parts of the water shade areas if you are interested of course and it's a very good thing in order to delineate water shared area for your study area okay hopes the contents of this video will be useful for you if you like this video please like the video and also subscribe to my channel thank you very much for your attention